Hello there and a warm welcome to the show. In this captivating episode, we delve into an extraordinary journey that traces its roots back to the humble village of Yororo in Meru, Kenya. It is here that Kevin Scuria's educational voyage began attending the renowned Kadegiri Primary School and the esteemed Nkobo High School where seeds of knowledge were sown, nurturing his dust for learning. After completing his bachelor's degree, Kevin's unwavering dedication and relentless pursuit to excellence opened doors to a prestigious opportunity at the University of Alabama in Huntsville through the Kenya Airlift Program. Now, as the culmination of years of unwavering commitment, it's time for his momentous graduation. Overwhelmed with joy and pride, Kevin's mother, Betty Kawera, seizes this extraordinary opportunity to visit the land of boundless opportunities, a journey made possible by her son's remarkable achievement. Witness her joy and pride as she embarks on a journey across continents, leaving her familiar Kenyan soil to attend her son's momentous graduation ceremony in Alabama. We will take an in-depth look at the University of Alabama in Huntsville in our deep dive segment. Let's now get started with the show. Our journey to the capital began with great excitement and anticipation. We set out to capture a truly special moment at their residence in Siokimau, a charming area close to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. It was here that Kevin's mother, filled with joy and pride, was preparing to embark on a flight that would take her thousands of miles away to the United States. She was joined by a loving gathering of family and friends who had come to celebrate this momentous occasion with her. The atmosphere was one of jubilation and gratitude as they came together in worship and song, offering heartfelt praises to their maker. It was a celebration of dreams taking flight, of barriers broken, and of new horizons waiting to be explored. We give you thanks and we give you praise. As we start, start with us, O oh God, yes. and when we come to finish, you will finish with us. Yes. We worship you and we honor you, Lord. Mm -hmm. For it's in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. 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 Let us journey back and retrace the footstep to where it all began. I'm a mother of three. Kevin is my firstborn son. And then I have another son and a daughter, a lastborn daughter. Kevin went to primary school in Kadigiri Boarding Primary School. That is in Meru until a client is class eight and he performed exemplary well. And from there he went to Nkobo High School for his high school education. And when he cleared Kobo High School, uh, uh, he, he joined University of Nairobi. Yes, and from Nairobi University, when he finished his first degree, it is when we, we discussed and talked about him doing his master's out of the country and we started exploring on how he could join, uh, how he could maybe get a scholarship or anything at least to get him out of out of Kenya and do his masters out of the country. As we gear up to delve deeper into Kevin's career and his mother's remarkable journey, let's revisit a fascinating and significant moment that holds a special place in the history of this home, a momentous day when the esteemed program directors Bob Mweti and DMK Kyogora stepped foot into this home. Betty. Kelvin's mother had graciously extended an invitation to them during one of their visits to the airport on an occasion they had come together to bid farewell to a group of students who are embarking on their educational journey to the United States. During this remarkable moment, she recounts the extraordinary story of how she discovered the life-changing Kenya airlift program and wholeheartedly supported her son to join. Okay, I was in the office mm -hmm. and in the you know those those times where you break kidogo and you're like you're checking out on your fb mm. to see the latest updates or what is happening on the social media mm. and then just uh, something just popped up i can't even remember from who or on what page mm. 
but something popped up and then I was like, I, I got interest and then I, I, I got into it, into mm. detail of the same. Mm. And then I saw Bob Mwiti. Mm. First of all, when I saw Mwiti, I was like, wow, this is home. It felt home when I saw the name the Mwiti. Name, yes. yes. And then <laughs> secondly, it's, it's something that is concerning masters, yes. of which I was looking forward to my sons doing masters out mm. of the country, mm. something I had prayed about. Mm. So when I got into the details, I read it. Mm until I got to understand mm -hmm. and I connected with the information. Yes. And then I printed out the hand, the, mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. the hand, the yeah, manual. The yes. yeah. yeah, I printed it and brought it home for my son. Mm -hmm. I told him to read and understand and if he feels like he can pursue this, mm -hmm. then we can go for it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, that's how I got it. I yes. wasn't introduced by anyone. In the midst of this captivating moment, Kevin's mother joyfully recalls how, just a year later, her son had diligently undertaken all the necessary steps to pursue his dreams of studying in the United States through the program. Kelvin meticulously prepared for and successfully passed the GMAT with remarkable scores, surpassing expectations within a short period after joining the program, something that even the directors admit was nothing short of remarkable. Like. That is 12, 11 months mm. from September to August. Yes. Yes. Wow. Like barely a, a year. Yeah. For mm. him to. For him to everything to finish everything wow. the preparations. Yeah. Or everything. In the exams. And the yes, exams. the exams. Of course, that's the starting. He did, he did the exam in a very. He was yeah. one of the students who did it in a very short time. Yes. Three months. And he's three months. Three months. Six. Three months. Yes. Six. In fact, it was six thirty. Yeah. Yes. After just one semester in the United States, the directors couldn't help but be curious about whether she had even thought of someday flying to the U.S., perhaps to witness her son's graduation. Without hesitation, her face lit up with joy as she expressed her heartfelt excitement at the very thought. <laughs> Well, if you ask me about going to US, like now, uh -huh. I'll just back and go. <laughs> so let's not go that direction. Anyone who is close to me, yeah. they know how, even my kids, by the way, yeah. we all have I mean, In fact, Leo asked me, when, mm -hmm. when are we going, when are we going mm -hmm. now that Kevin has left? Yeah. When is our time? Yes. Yes, so it, it's something I look forward to. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I know one time, maybe on his graduation, or maybe yeah. through other means we'll get there. Oh, yes, I look forward to it. Wow. Let us now embark on a magical journey where Kevin's mother finds herself many hours away from the moment when her long cherished dream would be achieved. The day that she had dreamt of and hoped for was right there before her eyes. With heartfelt gratitude, she acknowledges the Kenya Airlift program, knowing that it has not only been instrumental in her son achieving his dreams of studying abroad, but also fulfilled her own cherished dream of visiting America. Kenya Airlift program has opened many doors for me and my family, one of them being for my son uh, doing his masters out of the country. And secondly, um, me as a parent, having the opportunity to travel to U.S. I would have never thought I would be in U.S. Maybe, yes, I ever dreamt of being in U.S., but it has been made easier by Kevin being there and through the Kenya Airlift program. To Bob and the partner, DMK Kyogora, I've always talked to you people. You know how grateful I've been when I start talking about this, I'll be emotional and I, want, I don't want to. You've done more than I could have ever thought and it is because of you that I'm traveling today to see my son graduate. May God bless you. moment overwhelmed with emotion she expresses her heartfelt anticipation of meeting her son Kelvin once again her excitement knows no limit as she envisions the joyous reunion that awaits them in America to you Kevin you've made your mom proud I so look forward to meeting you and giving you a very big hug for the great achievement 
You've made me proud, son. Keep going. Keep raising the bar. Before they accompanied her to the airport, they gathered together in a heartfelt prayer, seeking blessings and guidance for both Kevin and her. Baraka, baba, wabinguni, hakuna kama wewe. Baba, wabinguni, hakuna kama wewe. We pray that Lord you shall increase and enlarge their territory, O oh God. We pray that you shall cover them with your precious blood, O King of Glory. With hearts brimming with excitement, they made their way to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. At the airport, they couldn't help but feel a profound sense of pride and joy as they vividly remembered the day when they had seen Kevin off on his journey to pursue his studies in America. I have come here at the JKIA airport to escort my daughter who is going to USA to see the graduation of her son, Kevin, who has been studying there having been taken there by Kenya Airlift program, which is doing a marvelous job in Kenya. I'm so happy that uh, Kevin uh, has uh, performed very well. He has completed his course for the master's degree. And uh, as a family member, we are so happy and we wish him all the best. Kevin's mother felt a wave of excitement enveloping her as she readied herself for the epic 19-hour flight from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Amsterdam and finally to Atlanta, where Kevin would eagerly pick her up. My flight is around 18-19 uh, hours. I will be landing in New and I'm expecting... You know, such a great exposure, something I've never seen again because I've never been to this land of opportunity. Yeah, and I'm excited. I think I can only say I'm excited and I thank God. The program has established wonderful partnerships to ensure that students have a seamless journey throughout all the processes involved, from the initial application to their travel arrangements and studies abroad. The goal is to create a supportive and efficient experience for each student, empowering them to focus on their education and personal growth with unwavering confidence just like Kevin. Students who travel using the program's official airline, Qatar Airways, enjoy fantastic benefits, including discounted tickets. These incentives are thoughtfully designed to promote international education and offer students a wonderful and enriching experience as they pursue their academic dreams abroad. We find it prudent to waiver some of the services because students cannot be able to afford. They're not traveling for leisure, they're traveling to go and study. It's only, it will not only give you discount on the first flight, it's a graduation or discount because you understand that you still come back home to meet with your parents, you'll have summer breaks, you'll have educational tours. So for the first flight you get 10%, for the second flight you get 15%, for the third flight you get 20% and on your graduation of flight we give you 20%. Through an enriching partnership with KCB Bank, students gain access to diaspora banking services and products tailored to the unique needs of international students. And that's why we have a very superior platform that enables you to access your banking services wherever you are through our KCB internet banking platform. So even as you're traveling, you do not need to be worried about how will I be able to access funds. Probably uh, somebody will be putting money in your account and you want to access it when you're abroad. Please be rest assured that as KCB Bank, we are fully committed and will give you a very reliable platform that will enable you to access uh, your finances wherever you are. Our program is proud to have established connections with various friends and supporters from different sectors. These dedicated allies share our commitment to empowering international students and ensuring they have a seamless experience while studying abroad. So we are happy to partner with Kenya Airlift program. We wish them the best and we believe as Kenyans we need to support each other. When we see someone has an idea, it's good to support each other and uh, because uh, be because it is easier when we are all winning than when you are winning alone or when we are all not winning. 
This shared dedication was evident in our recently held biannual luncheon where we came together to celebrate and honor the students who are embarking on their educational journey to North America this fall. The event was a heartwarming testament to the collective efforts of our community working hand in hand to provide these young scholars with the support and resources they need to thrive academically and personally. You are watching the Kenya Airlift Program show brought to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. The Kenya Airlift Program is an award-winning initiative that helps brilliant Kenyan students achieve the dream of studying in the U.S. regardless of their financial background. You can find all our programs by going to www.kenyaairliftprogram.com. The Kenya Airlift Program, passion, led us here. As the plane made its descent into Atlanta, her heart filled with excitement and anticipation. With every step she took through the airport terminal, excitement propelled her forward each moment, building up the climax of their reunion. Then in an instant, there he was, Kevin, standing with a warm smile and open arms. <laughs> The journey had been long, but it had all been worth it. Now she stood in the land of boundless opportunities, ready to embrace the experiences and adventures that awaited her. Amidst of the celebrations of the Kenyan graduates from the Kenya Airlift Program at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, there was an unmistakable sense of solidarity. Alabama had become home away from home for a vibrant and close-knit Kenyan student community bound together by shared experiences and a common identity. Indeed, the graduates carried not just the academic accomplishments but also the dreams and aspirations of their families and their nation on their shoulders. The program's impact on international student recruitment has been profound, paving the way for the American International Recruitment Council certification. This recognition is a testament to the program's unwavering commitment to ethical standards, creating a positive and reliable platform for aspiring students from around the world. Kevin's mother expressed her deepest admiration and congratulations for his remarkable achievement. She spoke of the unwavering support and belief she had in him throughout his educational journey. Her words carried the weight of a mother's love and the immense pride she felt in witnessing his growth and success. It's such an, uh, a beautiful day for me being here at UAH to commemorate this big day. Uh, on my son's graduation. I'm um, thrilled by everything. It's such a beautiful day. The occasion was beautiful. Everything is beautiful. America in itself is such a beautiful place. They are well organized. Yes, and I'm here enjoying my son's graduation. Congratulations. Thank you. Kevin, too, was deeply moved by his mother's words. He recognized the sacrifices she had made, the encouragement and guidance she had provided, and the unwavering belief she had in the, his potential. In that moment, they connected on a profound level, celebrating not just his graduation, but also the bond they shared as mother and son. I'm uh, really grateful to, from, to any, everyone who's brought me to this fire, especially to my mom, uh, who without, the, without her, I don't think I would have been here. Actually, this journey began with her, so without her, <laughs> yeah, without her, I wouldn't have been here. So, the biggest thanks goes out to her and obviously to God. And, uh, like, uh, the people who've been through, uh, who enabled me throughout this journey, the Kenya Elite program, my friends out here, and uh, just everyone. And also, you will, friend, who once I came here, you were my first roommate here at. Uh, at uh, Alabama, uh, where we were staying for like two semesters before before you graduated as well. So it's been a nice journey for me. So thank you. Throughout his academic journey in the United States, Kevin cherished the unwavering support from his professors and the Kenya Airlift program. The professors mentored and nurtured his intellectual growth while the program provided essential resources and a clear path to thrive in the U.S. Uh, my journey here has always been smooth. And uh, that was uh, mostly due to uh, like uh, the avenues and the pipeline that uh, the Kenya Airlift program uh, like uh, had laid down. And uh, once I came here and uh, began my masters, like my professors have been really, they've been really uh, pushing me, and like they've been really supportful. 
uh, I don't think uh, I would have been able to complete this master's this fast if I was back home. Uh, so with here, I just, even I was, uh, I was texting with my friends and they're like, you, you're done, you're already done that fast. And uh, you just uh, lay it down to like the systems here, uh, how they are organized, how the professors support you in every, every step of the way. Uh, I can't say it's been all easy. Uh, at times, like uh, some coursework uh, is, uh, might be hard, but uh, the, the professors are really helpful. They give you like uh, a plan and a, uh, and a layout for you to, 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 to follow up on. And uh, when you follow it, uh, you'll get here and uh, you'll graduate with uh, good honors. Kevin's excitement and confidence are particularly evident as he envisions building a successful career as a data analyst. Throughout his academic journey in the United States, he has honed his analytical skills, delving into the world of data in its powerful applications. I'm feeling really, I'm excited obviously, and uh, I feel ready and prepared for whatever is out there next, the, the journey out there next, which is obviously building a career for myself as a data analyst, data scientist, and uh, with the skills and uh, like the experience that I've gained, uh, through my masters and uh, all the way out here and with the strong support of people like my mom here, I, I feel uh, really hopeful and uh, excited. In a heartfelt and touching message, Kevin's mother shares words of inspiration and love that profoundly conveys the immense pride and joy she feels as she witnesses the next phase of his son's life begin. I will still tell him, like I've always said, you continue being forecast. Yes, do not be swayed by temporary things here and there. Focus, believe in yourself, work harder, yeah. Um, uh, good networking, friends are good, you know. It, it says um, you're, you're worth your, your social... Your network is your, your network is your net worth, yeah. That kind of a thing. So network also is very good. I've seen that you have quite a number of friends yeah, which is very good for the, for your next step or your next level in life so that you get to know where there are opportunities. And I'm sure you're taking it up. I know you're doing, you're getting better. It's not gonna get lower than you are right now. It's gonna get better. And I'm praying and wishing you nothing but the best. Yes. This segment promises to take a deep dive into the best universities for international students through our program. Take a look. The University of Alabama in Huntsville was founded in 1950 and situated in the vibrant city of Huntsville, Alabama. Its diverse student body comprising of 9,736 individuals, including 2,065 postgraduate students, flourishes in an inclusive and supportive environment. UAH offers an excellent value for investment in education with a competitive yearly out-of-state tuition fees of $19,424. With an acceptance rate of 77%, the university warmly embraces aspiring learners from around the world, fostering a diverse and inclusive community. Through the Kenya Airlift program, financing for tuition and living expenses at this institution is made possible through Discover. To qualify for the Kenya Airlift program at this school, one must be willing to study the following STEM and business related master's courses. Master of Science in Management Science in Business Analytics, Master of Science in Cybersecurity Management, Master of Science in Computer Science, Master of Science in Electrical and Computer Engineering, Master of Science in Industrial and System Engineering and Engineering Management, MBA, Master of Science Accountancy. Betty speaks with enthusiasm about her experiences in America, recounting the moments of wonder and amazement she has encountered during her visit. I mean, this beautiful place, this is the University of Alabama, Huntsville, um, in a corner somewhere in the compound. It's so beautiful. It's it's past. It's it's a beautiful place. So we just picked one place where we can sit and have our conversation. Yeah, we are in the University of Alabama, Huntsville. Uh, my, my son brought me here, we took round, he took me through the buildings, I went even to his, to his department where he was doing his GA, yes, and it's such a beautiful place, the professors are good, I've met them at the dinner, 
I met some of them during the graduation. They are so, they are good people. Yeah. Yeah, on uh, a day prior to the graduation, we had a dinner, um, which was prepared by the, by the faculty. Yeah. And it was such an auspicious ceremony or occasion to that matter. And we were like talking with the professor, some of them very young. I had, the table I was sitting on, I had some very young professors and they were so social, they were happy, as in you wouldn't tell who is the student and who is the professor. Until some of the young men were sending the professors to the, like bring me a dessert. <laughs> and the professor just wake up, wakes up, goes and bring the dessert, he carries his and the students. Hey, it struck me like this one, not in Kenya, man. Professor. Hey, um, well, friend, I feel good. Uh, it's all fulfilling. First of all, knowing your reasons for being here uh, to come and celebrate my son's doing. Um, it's it's fulfilling as a parent. It made me proud, Kevin. And US is so amazing. Everything is beautiful. I'm still amazed at the things that I'm seeing around in the neighborhood been asking my son, ah, yeah, there are no people around, you know, I'm only seeing cars, one where are people, I can't even see kids playing around in the compound, you know, those kind of things, so it makes a big difference, and even on the roads, like um, uh, the traffic, I've not seen the policemen, you know, in Kenya we are used to so many traffic policemen after every other stop, I've not seen policemen, so I keep asking, where are the traffic policemen, but again, you can see the flow, yeah, people are very disciplined on the roads. There are no major issues here and there like we see them back in the country, in our country. Yeah, the traffic is good. The flow, everything is good. But I miss seeing people walk around. I'm like, I was making fun with Kevin, like, I, I feel like going to knock in people's houses to ask them, where are you indoors? <laughs> yeah, that kind of a thing. So those are the major differences. The place is clean. The environment is, wow, it's green everywhere. Yeah, something I've not, as in there are trees all over it, it makes the place green. I like it. She seized every opportunity to make the most of her time in America, embracing the chance to explore incredible places like the renowned Space Center and marvel at the majestic beauty of Lookout Mountain. Her spirit of adventure and curiosity propelled her to immerse herself in the rich experiences and breathtaking sights that America had to offer. Her excitement reached new heights as she visited the U.S. Rocket and Space Center, an awe-inspiring place that ignited her sense of wonder and fascination. The remarkable exhibits, cutting-edge technology, and the history of the space exploration left her in awe, making her visit an unforgettable and thrilling experience. I'm at the U.S. Rocket and Space Center. Yes, it's such a beautiful place. And behind me, you can see uh, the rocket, a very magnanimous one. I'm so excited. It's such a big place and beautiful place. I'm still learning a few things here and there about space and rocket. I've only heard my small son talk about rockets. I've never seen anything like this or been anywhere near such. So that's why I'm excited. And with that, we come to the end of the today's episode of the Kenya Airlift Program Show. As the program that has been an integral part of Kevin Courier's journey, we are filled with immense pride and joy as we witness him reaching this significant milestone. As he embarks on the next phase of his life after graduation, we extend our heartfelt wishes for nothing but the very best. May this new chapter be filled with exciting opportunities, personal growth, and boundless success. You have been watching the Kenya Airlift Program Show, brought to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. Come back again next time for more fascinating stories of our beneficiaries as we take you through their journey right from their villages to the USA in pursuit of the American dream.